What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Saturday and that means it's time for another episode of What's New for Blue, where I inform you of what brand new fiscal media titles you can expect to see in your local store and also online. So this coming Tuesday, we are getting another crop of brand new 4K releases, but the good news is you don't have to pick up everything on day one. So let's start off with the big new release of the week. And I consider that to be Reservoir Dogs finally getting its 4K upgrade. We are getting a 4K slipcover and 4K steelbook. Now I'm definitely going for this one day one. I want that 4K steelbook. I love that cover artwork. It seems like it has a slipcover very reminiscent to American Psycho. And I really love how that one looks. And I really enjoy this movie. It's one of my favorites from Quentin Tarantino. So I definitely want to upgrade this one. Next on the list is Wayne's World. Wayne's World coming to us 4K upgrade slipcover and 4K steelbook. Now, as you guys remember, a couple of months ago, Wayne's World was released on Blu-ray and we all predicted the 4K was right around the corner and here it is. But unfortunately, that 4K steelbook is the exact same cover artwork as the Blu-ray steelbook. This is really disappointing me because this is pure laziness in my opinion. The 4K Steelbook should look different to the Blu-ray Steelbook. To have exact same cover artwork, not appealing. Not appealing at all whatsoever. It's very boring and like I said, pure laziness. So am I going to double dip with the Wayne's World 4K? I am, of course, on the 4K slipcover. It's one of the best comedies come out of the 90s. I love this movie. It's nothing but pure fun and nostalgia for me. So I am targeting that 4K slipcover. Up next, the third item I am eyeing on for Tuesday, and that is Pearl. Pearl is finally coming out on Blu-ray, but we are going to have two options out there. Regular Blu-ray and also a Walmart exclusive slipcover. Now I got to admit, I'm kind of enjoying that Walmart exclusive slipcover. So I will be going to Walmart in search of this. And if I do not find it there, then I will pick it up at Best Buy. I'll probably hit up Walmart first just to see if that slipcover is there. And if not, go to Best Buy and grab it. But I really enjoyed this movie. Mia Goth, absolutely incredible. If you have not seen it, I do recommend that you do a blind buy because her performance alone is absolutely incredible. All right, next up on the new release list, use cars on 4K and also 3000 years of longing on 4K and also Blu-ray, but the cover art is exactly the same. So I'm only featuring the 4K. 3,000 Years of Longing, I honestly didn't hear outstanding things about this movie. So if I do ever want to watch it in the future, I guess I will just wait for it to go on to streaming and then use Cars. I've heard of this film, but I don't know if it's my cup of tea necessarily. I'm not sure if I need to pick it up on day one. It's kind of one of those things... We'll see how my feeling is about it. If it's in store, I'm not sure if it's going to be a Best Buy or not. We will have to just wait and see to see what Susan does on Tuesday. All right, up next, we have Blue Hawaii, another Paramount Presents title on 4K, and Jeepers Creepers Reborn on Blu-ray. Now, Jeepers Creepers Reborn, probably not picking up this one. I didn't hear good things about it. I actually heard it was a horrible film, so that's definitely not the top of my list. Blue Hawaii, not really my thing. I'm not the biggest Elvis fan of his films or anything like that. So if I ever do want this title, I can always wait for a future sale. Plus, it's pretty much going to be online only anyway. So it's not going to be available in store. At least I do not think so. All right, next up on the list is Jack Ryan, seasons one and two on 4K. I've never seen this show. I believe it's usually on Amazon Prime, but I've never seen it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I've never seen it. So I'm saving money right there. But if you guys enjoy this show, then the physical of this show is finally going to be available on Tuesday. Next up is Halo season one on 4K, 4K slipcover and 4K steelbook. Both looking pretty nice. But again, I don't collect shows unless they really mean something to me. So I will be bypassing on this title as well. Moving on next to Doom Patrol season three on Blu-ray and Moon Age Daydream on Blu-ray. Now, Moon Age Daydream, all about David Bowie. 
I absolutely love David Bowie. I mean, he was iconic when I was growing up, absolutely fantastic, but this is nothing that I need to own right away. And Doom Patrol, I've never seen it, so I will be bypassing that title as well, but we'll probably see that one in Best Buy. Then we have Jerry and Marge go large on Blu-ray and Gigi and Nate on Blu-ray. So Gigi and Nate was kind of one of those films in the theater, you blinked and you missed it. It was there for a weekend and then it was gone. I think it's based on true story, true events, something like that, but I'm honestly not interested. Jerry and Marge go large. I actually watched this on Paramount+. Plus. It is on streaming. I really enjoyed this film. I gave it five stars on my letterbox. It's based on a true story. The performances by Brian Cranston and Annette Bening, I thought really worked. They were great as this couple, portraying this couple together. And it was a cute little movie. It's nothing that I'm gonna pick up on physical, but it was a great streaming film. I will say that. All right, next up, R.I.P.D. 2 on Blu-ray. Do we really need this? I'm not sure. And I had to throw this in for you guys to see. The most random cast in a Christmas movie. We're talking Christmas in Paradise on Blu-ray with Kelsey Grammer, Elizabeth Hurley, and Billy Ray Cyrus. Who's picking up this title? I really want to know. I'm super curious. It's nothing for me, but I, is there a market for these people out there all together? I guess there is. Otherwise, they wouldn't have been cast together. Honestly, I'm kind of curious. That sick part of my brain is just a little curious, but I'm not going to spend 20 something dollars on a film with all three of those people. But moving on, RIPD2. Like I said, do we really need this? RIPD honestly wasn't the best movie it didn't really make all that much at the box office as i recall but i don't know everyone's taste is different and finally our criterion of the week criterion our criterion of the week for this sale that's still going on is the the infernal affairs trilogy on blu-ray I have never heard of this, so I will be bypassing on this one as well. So up next, as you guys know, I always talk about the movies that are going to be available online only or possibly seen at Walmart on DVD format. So we have this week's Section 8, The Inhabitant and Both Sides of the Blade. There's also Allegoria, The Passenger, and Hansen, Rising Dragon. There's Death Game and The Sunny Chiba Collection, finally ending with The Diamond Wizard 3D and The Red Post on Escher Street. So that is just a roundabout list of everything that will be available this coming Tuesday in store and also online. So let me know down below, what do you plan on targeting? Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave and I'll see you next time.